Solo, A Star Wars Story gave us a look into the lives of Han and Kira when they were 19, living as part of the White Worm Gang on Corellia. The book Most Wanted takes a closer look at their time there, and it explores their childhood a little bit more. Today I'll tell you what we know about their upbringing before we see them in the movie. Let's start with Kira. In the film, Lady Proxima reminds the young girl that the White Worm saved her from a place called the Silo. That area of Corellia was located in the bottoms of Coronet City, which was basically a swamp. It held within it a freighter boneyard, and the truly destitute and depressed lived there. We don't know the details surrounding Kira's quote-unquote rescue, but we do know that she kept a safe house in the silo built in the hidden remains of a ship not unlike Rey and her home on Jakku. Although things with the White Worms were bad, Kira tells Han that they were much worse in the silo, going so far as to say it was worse than hell. Moving on to Han, he was a little more closed off when he talked about his past, claiming that his father was a long-lost prince. But when Kira got him to open up for real, he admitted that he had been alone on the streets for a long time running with various gangs, and he was also grateful when the White Worms took him in. Eventually, he did talk about his real father, who got drunk one night and took Han to the freighter factory where he worked. He told Han that he was meant for more than building ships, that he was meant to fly them. It's still unclear whether or not that story was true, but Han believed that driving a land speeder was the closest he'd ever get to flying. When asked about how he came to be an orphan, he said he'd rather not talk about it, but my guess is that he ran away from an abusive household. I think these little pieces of backstory can tell us a lot about Han and Kira as they're presented in Solo A Star Wars Story. The reason I think Han ran away from an abusive father is partly because of context clues, but also because Han is always working on a way to find a better life. So he runs away, joins a gang, eventually joins a bigger gang, and then in the book Most Wanted, he's always working an angle to continue improving his situation. He wants to escape. He has this outlook on life that things can be better and that they should be. Contrast that with Kira, who by her own admission looks back at her time in the silo and thinks things could always be worse. Throughout the story, she seems okay with maintaining the status quo. As long as she's not moving backwards, she doesn't necessarily have to move forwards. The life of crime is all she's ever known, and it also turns out to be where she excels throughout the book. Where Han wants to get away from the criminal underworld and be his own boss, Kira likes doing what she's good at and seems to be okay to rise through the ranks, which is why we see her in such a position of power at the end of the movie. I thought that one little passage in Most Wanted was very telling of not only Han and Kira's past, but their futures as well. If you're interested in the book for yourself, you can get the audiobook for free right now on Audible. Just follow the link in the description to visit www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained to sign up for a free 30-day trial and receive a credit for one free book. You can use it on Most Wanted or a number of other Star Wars books or get any book you want. The point is, you get a free book and you'll be supporting the channel when you do. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.